we are doing a kitchen refurbishment project and uh, one of the things to do is to replace this semi integrated dishwasher into and I'm replacing it with a normal standard dishwasher uh, just a few things to note uh, there are three terms uh, in relation to the dishwashers one is the normal standard upright dishwasher which is uh, a standard which has all the normal paneling there uh, a fully integrated dishwasher where you if you can see this door which is matching uh, and has been installed on the dishwasher this door would have been right up at the top and and the one like this which is a semi integrated dishwasher now the reason why I'm replacing it with a standard normal dishwasher is uh, because when I wanted to replace uh, this one I didn't have many choices in the market uh, for a semi integrated dishwasher there's just one or two at the right price range so I'm planning to go for a Bosch model now this is a Zenusi model this has lasted for quite a long time and I'm replacing it with a Bosch model which uh, is uh, quite reliable as per the reviews and uh, let's see the steps now the few things to disconnect are one is the electrical supply that comes first and foremost so it, our power switch button is here so I'm expecting the supply would be connected somewhere on the left hand side once I remove this machine at the back of the machine the second thing will be the inlet pipe water pipe to the machine and the last one will be the exhaust pipe machine this is our sink and I'm expecting the inlet and the exhaust to be underneath the sink just to recap then again I need to ensure that the switch over there stays switched off I need to disconnect this I need to disconnect the inlet pipe and the exhaust from underneath the sink there and once I've disconnected this I can slide this out one more thing which before I forget uh, the kick kickboard here underneath the machine as you can see this requires to be removed and it's very simple these things are normally clamped on in our case I think it is just a snug fit so if I pull it out like this it has just come out so it's quite a simple thing and then underneath here you can see the bottom of the machine something to note here is there's a valve here which is uh, for the cold water connection so before you disconnect this you need to shut this valve off turn it by 90 degrees so that the water gets shut and then you can disconnect the cold water pipe okay so here you can see I have disconnected this uh, after I shut this valve off turn this anti-clockwise and this has come off that's the inlet pipe and over here I uh, loosen this clamp uh, something to note here was that this uh, screw was in, an, in a very awkward angle so I actually removed this uh, first and that once this came out then I loosen this and pull it out uh, pull the drain out just a quick tip here really uh, I noticed when I've disconnected everything and I tried to pull it it was trying to pull uh, get, it was getting snagged with the vinyl flooring so I think it's a good idea to just screw these stands a little bit inside so that it gives a better space to take it out there's one okay so as you can see I've just opened the door and pulled this whole thing out it is on the wheels at the back so it's not a problem it leaves uh, and you can see the inside space now what is visible to me is there's a plug connected at the back which I'm going to disconnect and we have already disconnected the inlet and the exhaust which I can pull out and this is what it looks like when it has been pulled out now is a good time to give this section a good clean proper thorough clean as this is a not accessible normally not accessible section in the kitchen 
okay so just for clarity on uh, how these things are fixed so this has this has as you can see on the door these lugs one on this side one on this side they go and slot in in here in here and this was attached by just two screws from inside on the one at this end and the other one at this end so once you open the door the two screws were the one at the end there and the other one at the end on the other side uh, at this end so these two screws and then you just lift this door and the door comes out or the panel not the door the panel comes out okay so the new uh, series 2 Bosch uh, dishwasher has been delivered it comes with uh, this installation instruction and uh, there is a operating manual here it comes with this pipe also this is the inlet pipe uh, this is a strip this is a strip which also comes with this uh, this is in case you want to remove this top bit before you install uh, I'm, I don't intend doing that so probably this uh, strip will not be used it has also come with uh, this electrical cable and uh, I'll show it in a second uh, where it gets connected so just as a recap we need to connect the inlet pipe uh, one end to the washing machine and uh, I mean the dishwasher just remember this is the one with the angle end which goes and fits into the back of the dishwasher and you already have the exhaust uh, line one end connected this will go to your drain underneath the sink and the electrical cable connects one end to this at the lower bottom left and uh, the other end will go to the socket on the wall which we have seen in the previous uh, clip by the way it also comes with uh, this finish packet as a complement the installation manual which they have given is uh, very has very little information in terms of words it's mostly pictures takes a few minutes to work out uh, what goes on where so the electrical plug uh, goes if you this is the back of the machine and at the bottom end it just fits and clicks in at right here if you can see this is where it goes so on the exhaust pipe to secure it properly they have provided a clip so my next stage is to route the exhaust pipe uh, from that cavity there into underneath the sink so right next to the exhaust where it comes out from the machine at the back low end is the place where you would fit the inlet pipe and this is the place where you would uh, the angled section of the inlet pipe goes something to notice it doesn't should not require a tool like a plier or anything it should be hand tightened uh, fully tightened but hand tightened something to remember is uh, there are seals inside both the ends of the pipe just before you fit please ensure that the seals are there otherwise it will leak I've rooted the exhaust from underneath there and fitted the connection here and you can see this clip has been fitted over the pipe so that it's a secure connection it is better than the Jubilee clamp which uh, was there with the previous dishwasher something to remember while fitting both the inlet and the exhaust pipelines it's best if it doesn't have any kinks or any uh, it sh the routing should be as smooth as possible 
so no no kinks or circles or any thing which could cause a restriction to the flow of water so as you can see the pipe has been rooted and I've tried not to have any kinks in the pipe uh, before you start the machine on uh, it's best to select the stop cock open and uh, check for leaks and then you're ready to go Now with everything connected, uh, we have switched it on and hopefully it's all ready to be used now. Now just for the last step, if you remember, I had removed this uh, kick uh, plate or kick uh, kind of bar. Uh, that was the first step in this project. Now of course I've put a upright freestanding dishwasher instead of the integrated or semi-integrated dishwasher so this is projected slightly outside and this is my kick bar what I'll do is I'll measure the distance from from this section to this end and I'll cut this uh, and I'll then either push fit it or I'll put a, a small screw which is not visible from outside and same for that other end other corner where I'll cut a small piece and do the same thing. As you can see I've installed the kickboard now on both the sides and uh, this is of course just the first stage of our uh, kitchen refurbishment process because uh, the next stage is uh, to replace or rather install vinyl planks so please see my next video for that and this will be followed by a repaint of all the cabinets. Thank you for watching.